Have you been uh, following uh, the election? I mean, you you must be oh, no. excited. Oh, no. No, I don't. I'm not informed. No. I... If it happens, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't. I my body cannot handle it. Just the stress of that thing. But do you think it's going to I mean, I can't I, I don't I can't believe we're in. I cannot. It is mind boggling, mind boggling. Did you ever have a moment where you thought like, OK, fine, we're done with that guy and he's not coming oh, back? Yeah, I did. I thought that after when Biden won, I thought, OK, OK. Good. He's going to, you know, get us back on track. I cannot believe. First of all, Lauren fucking Boebert, that piece of garbage trash, Marjorie Taylor fuckhead and Matt Fuck whole ass wipe gets and Jim fucking pedophile piece of shit Jordan and John fuckhead asshole bad neck disgusting Kennedy like these people are fucking disgusting liars that that did you watch the Garland hearings I mean they're just classless grandstanding bullshit artists who are out to destroy the, the democracy. I can't people, I, they don't read. We're so fucking dumb in this country. They're so goddamn dumb. Okay. Sorry. It's That's so, right, no, I, I cannot take it anymore. You know, Lauren Boebert is grabbing the guy's cock. He's touching her boobs. She's <laughs> vaping. And then she's telling me, telling people what books their kids should be able to read. And <laughs> she hasn't even figured out how to reach. And she's 36 and a grandmother. She is fucking trash. She is a piece of trash, garbage. Who it, behaves like that? It turns out, and, you know, to be fair to her, no. she, she said that it was a first date. It turns out it's not a first date. Oh, um, please. And then she so, broke up with him because he's a Democrat. And then he has a bar where they have drag queens. She, how do these people not go, oh, my God, she is a piece of shit. I and think that she's, she's probably going to uh, have a real problem getting reelected, I would imagine, in 2024. Um, because she almost lost in 2022. And this I, is going to be an on-year election. Uh, and I, I would imagine she has not garnered more support with this unless there is a small cop of field caucus in uh, her Colorado de district. Right. What about Marjorie Taylor Twat? What about her? her? I don't, She'll I don't, get reelected. She might. She, I, I would be surprised if she didn't. I mean, uh, but, um. I, I, I mean, who knows? I mean, I, you know, the, the, the real uh, problem is in the, in the short term, the U S government's going to shut down and oh my that's going to mean, that's going to mean a couple of million federal workers right. are going to have to work without getting paid. It includes also uh U S uh, military personnel. What about Tommy tub of shit? What about him? <laughs> He still Emma, got his blockade. I miss you. I missed you, Emma. How did you know Emma sat back down? Oh, you can see. I, it. Yeah, I can you, see. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Emma, yeah, but she's not well, there. I miss you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judy. I'm back it's though. All right. We all don't right, take our I, I, our normal break is at 1 p.m., so I had to run to the restroom. So sorry. It's what okay. did I miss? Well, no, I know how Sam is a you know, I know the catheters that we had set up in the. Uh, <laughs> In the studio, we had to. Oh, uh, I went it. off on the fuckers, and now we're talking about you know the government is shutting down, and Tammy, uh, Tommy, Tubber, fucking tub of shit, fucking <laughs> tub of shit. Yeah, yeah I, I hate them all, Sam. It's like, you know, I, I'm like, I'm hearing these people, you know, it's it, you know, really grace use, you know, it's Yom Kippur. I'm supposed to be like compassion and grace. I can't have compassion for these people. Who are you, willfully ignorant. Do you fast? Will you fast on of Monday? Of course. Of course. I'm full of guilt. Full of guilt. <laughs> well, yeah, you I won't will. fast, right? No, I always fast. Are you working? No, I don't work on Yom Kippur. 
But you don't fast. You don't do anything. You don't sit there and think about. You no, know, oh, I, I do fast, change. and uh, oh, and uh, Saul I and I you. are going to Cole Nidre Services. I and, love Saul. I love dude. that name so much. And uh, you've never met him, though. No. And uh, how are your kids doing? Good, right? They're fantastic. They're both fantastic. And Ben, my younger one, Henry's working. Uh, he works with kids with behavioral problems because he was one and he knows how to handle them. So oh, he's good. always like, he's like, mommy, I know. I know exactly, you know, because I did the same. Shit. Um, and he's great. And then uh, he's waiting for the strike to be over because he works in production. And then um, Ben is in his last year at Trinity. He's the captain of the basketball team, and he's getting recruited to play professionally in Israel. Really? Yes, wow. Israel. He played in the Maccabee games. And, yeah, and he's they're recruiting him. Uh, that's uh, Jesse Waters and um, uh, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. I know. Okay. He's there for basketball. Shut up. I understand. I can't believe it. He talks about, like... He told me the cars there, these kids have the, like, it's unbelievable, the money I, at that school. I said this about Trinity when I was looking at, you know, schools to go to, um, I had some big book and it said like most conservative liberal yes. arts college, number one, Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's on the basketball team and they're not really conservative. Yeah, there you go. You know. Right. Um. What else you got going on? Anything else that we should be talking about? Who's uh? What's the what, what's happening with the podcast season? Who can the we look forward to? Podcast kill me now. This week I have D. Schneider from Twisted Sister. This oh week and God. next week he wrote this great book called Frats. But his life is so fascinating. So yeah, this week and next week we had such a good conversation. Wow. Uh, See, I get people on my podcast, Sam. I I, I have no doubt. I yeah. Mean, uh, but I must say, even though I hate saying this. Well, it's probably because of Emma, Matt, and Bradley, but I get so many people at my shows who tell me they they heard me on the Majority Report. And why do you hate that? No, I hate telling you that because of oh, your I ego see. I issue. Understand. I know. Yeah, no, it's uh, that's what I go around. That's one yeah. Of the... It's so great. So folks can go see you uh, this like uh, tonight. Tonight, seven o'clock, baby, at the Arlington Draft House. And, and are you doing multiple shows? And, and, and tomorrow, two shows seven tomorrow. Seven to nine thirty. And then I get a drive home for the Col Nidre. There you go. <laughs> and um, then I have other dates, like I'm in Florida and Fort Lauderdale on October twenty first. I mean, I could go on and and guess what ha is happening on on November twentieth. Um eh, I'm getting my knee replaced. Oh um, no. The other one. I already had one done. Now I'm getting the other one done. Well, at least you, you know what uh, to it's expect. It's shit. It's shit, Sam. I'm sorry. Thank sorry you, Emma. That. You got arthritis? Oh, it's beyond. Yeah. Boner on boner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judy Gold, it is always a pleasure. I love long. you. I know. Uh, Sam, I got to be a regular. Don't you think, Emma? You are a regular. Whatever. <laughs> no, you are. We'll we make you more regular. Done, we haven't yeah, done. Yeah, Emma. She I knows. Know. See, like, I'm sucking up like, to you, Judy, because you got mad at me earlier. Feldman's completely overdue. Yeah, Feldman's uh, overdue. Uh, Kindler, we've only had on like I think twice this year. I don't know what happened. We this need Feldman on to talk Sam, about the you're, strikes. You're abandoning us. No, uh, I don't. We don't. Even, uh, we haven't been doing a second. Day. Comedians are old news. Uh, union leaders are the new uh, hotness. So. Yeah. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> Fuck up. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just want you to know I will be institutionalized if that motherfucker. How about we doesn't even go to the uh all right, I know you have Just to make go, sure but... they have Wi Fi at that institution, will you please? Yeah, yeah, I will. But I'm just letting you know that he is such a fucking coward liar piece of shit. And Jared Kushner, what the fuck with the two billion dollars and fuck face orange Fuck face can't even show up at the debate because he's such a fucking piece of shit coward. Ugh. Well, Judy, he's 60% in uh, the latest Quinnipiac poll. I can't, I can't. Uh, he's uh, on a record pace for a contested primary in terms of the biggest leads ever, ever uh, kind of tabulated. I can't. What is that? Can't. What is that? What do you think of that, though? What do you think of America when you hear that? Emma, you were in the bathroom. Oh. 
but I'll tell you right now. Oh, we did this already? I don't even, there's no fucking words. There's no words for this. How how do you, he he tried to overthrow democracy. There was an insurrection. There was no peaceful transition of power. He is a fucking liar, a fucking rapist, a fucking predator. Uh, He's dishonest. He's a mob boss. What the fuck is going on with these people? (laughs) We'll have to wait until your next appearance to answer that question.